According to legends passed down from ages long past, an era of darkness and destruction draws near. Deep within the endless sea of stars, stirs an ancient evil forgotten by time. The Nymphogen. Spirits of limitless lechery lying dormant in the cosmos. Awoken only once every 10,000 years by a cosmic super period of unspeakable PMS. With symptoms so severe and desires so destructive, entire galaxies have been consumed by the chaos. It is said that only a hero of unparalleled prowess can overcome the insatiable lust of the demonic pair and return them peacefully to a satisfied slumber. As the dreaded day looms upon an unsuspecting world, no such savior has risen to stand against the threat, and Earth is left defenseless against certain doom. Wait... Actually? I might know somebody... Thanks, man. I really needed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet you are, you animal. Listen, I'd love to stick around and watch your dick shrink, but I got a split. I have a crazy early flight tomorrow. My boss is sending me out to some island for an exotic shoot. Then I'm supposed to meet up with this Teleuber chick for a cross promo we've been planning. Ah, <sighs> it's not easy being a world class fashion model, you know? Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Please, I can barely remember your name half the time. Now, where did you throw my clothes? Ah, there they are. Well, aren't you at least gonna walk me back to my car? Do I need to remind you where my mouth has been? You might want to take a rain check on that. Later, sweet cheeks. Keep that thing nice and hard for me for when I get back. Well, 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 look at this motherfucker. I leave you alone for a year or two and you're banging models on the reg? <sighs> I really am a miracle worker. What? You think you're my only client? <laughs> There's a lot of virgins out there. None of them picked it up quite as fast as you, though. <laughs> That's actually kind of why I'm here. Look, I'm gonna cut right to the chase because time isn't exactly on our side here. Some seriously crazy shit is about to pop off and we need your help to stop it. Of course it involves your genitalia. You think I'd be here if it didn't? To make a long story short, there are these two, like, evil space hookers that are about to be awoken. And if they don't get some wicked good dick, they're probably gonna destroy the galaxy. And that would really suck, because Earth has some of the finest babes in the universe, next to Tendricide. You see, part of my job as a love fairy is to find a worthy hero among all the pathetic virgins. Unfortunately, we couldn't find one, so you'll have to do instead. I'll be honest with you, man. The higher-ups are concerned about your lack of experience with threesomes. But I told him you're a quick learner. Besides, you did bag the fucking goddess of love. That's gotta count for something, right? So, 
Put on some goddamn underwear and pack your bags. Our flight leaves first thing in the morning. Now that's what I like to hear. If only everybody would blindly do what I say without asking questions. Can you believe it, man? The old team, back together again for another sexy adventure. I can't believe you humans have to get into big machines just to do something as simple as flying. I hate to say it, but if it wasn't for all the honey you guys generate, you'd be pretty useless. I appreciate the confidence, but don't overestimate yourself, alright? What we're asking you to pork here is unlike anything you've ever porked before. Us Speaking of which, I should probably fill you in on the plan, huh? We are headed to the beautiful tropical island of Ina de Puna. Why, you may ask? Shh! I'm getting to that! You can ask questions when I'm done. You see, the Nymphogen, those are the space hookers, are on the verge of being awoken by their period. If that happens, you can kiss your sorry ass goodbye. So, we need to wake them up before that. There's a volcano on the island called Mount Nymphojaro. Yeah, I don't know who names this shit. If we can get that volcano to erupt, it should be enough to awaken the Nymphogen early. But the only way to get that bitch to blow is to offer a sacrifice, a sacrifice of fairy wings. I'm sure you're wondering, what the hell are fairy wings? I thought I told you to stop asking questions. You ever hear the phrase, whenever a threesome is had, a love fairy gets her wings? Yeah, well, that's actually true. So we need to get you mixed up in some menage a trois. As much as I'd fucking love to be more involved, unfortunately, love fairies don't count. Besides, corporate said I have to stop fucking my clients. Can you believe that shit? <sighs> now look, locking down a three-way can be tricky. The best way to do it is by going on double dates. Not the lame kind of double date where it's two couples. The cool kind where it's you and two chicks. You'll need some fresh love fairy tech though. That crusty ass honeybee 4.0 is way out of date. So, da 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 da! Introducing the brand new Honeybee 6XL with threesome compatibility detection package. Go ahead, check it out. When you're done, you can close it by clicking anywhere off the honeybee. You can also open and close the honeybee with a simple middle click or tap of the space bar. So, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much my entire spiel. Well, for now, at least. Any questions? Well, I'm glad it makes sense to you because this shit makes barely any sense to me. I thought I heard a familiar voice back here. Hey, stranger. Long time no see. No way. Isn't she that tight-ass flight attendant you used to bang? Oh, man. Can I book a flight or what? Small world, huh? I never thought I'd bump into you on one of my routes. By the way... Uh, who were you talking to? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm invisible. You must look like a crazy person back here. You should probably change the subject before it gets any more awkward. <laughs> Why, thank you. I designed it myself. I thought the old one could use a little more... less. Believe it or not, I started my own little fashion design business. I have a website and everything. It's still young, though, so I don't want to quit my day job just yet. Enough about me, though. Let's talk about you. What brings you out to Ina de Puna? You too, huh? I'm actually going to be enjoying a little time off on the island myself. I'm meeting up with an old friend of mine for a little vacay we've been planning forever. 
So, you want to join the Mile High Club? What? I work hard. A girl's got to find some way to relieve a little stress, right? I'm going to pretend I have to go to the bathroom, but I'll leave the door unlocked. Wait a couple minutes so you don't raise any suspicion, okay? Bro, we haven't even landed yet and you're already scoring ass? Maybe this chick isn't as uptight as I thought. This is actually a great opportunity for me to teach you about double dates. What do you say? Alright! Well, let's head in there. We don't want to keep her waiting, do we? I've been so busy working, I don't even know how long it's been since I've gotten any. Alright, I'll try to make this quick, because I know we all just want to get to the good part. You remember how dates work, right? Well, double dates are similar, with a few key differences. The goal is still the same. You want to fill up the affection meter before you run out of moves. You do that by matching three or more of these tokens, either horizontally or vertically. Well, affection tokens to be exact. Affection tokens are the circular ones with symbols on them. Like those three flirtation tokens over there. Go ahead and match those. You know, the green ones in the middle of the grid there, with the stars on them. Now, the biggest difference with double dates is, obviously, that there's two chicks. You gotta learn how to divide your time and attention between both girls. It can be a bit tricky. Right now, you're focused on me. To switch over to her, all you gotta do is click on her. Easy sleazy! Now that you're focused on her, all the matches you perform will go to her. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to find some talent tokens for you to match. Oh, in the bottom left-hand corner, the blue ones with the music notes on them. Of course, bigger matches, such as four or more in a row, will also give you more affection. Switch focus back over to me and I'll show you. There's a four-of-a-kind romance token match somewhere on the grid. I'll let you find it. In case you forgot, romance tokens are the orange ones with the crescent shapes on them. bigger matches that you gotta watch out for is that they also cost more stamina. My stamina is looking pretty low right now, so let's find some stamina tokens to match. There, in the top right corner of the grid, match those stamina tokens, the white pentagon things. Woo, that's better. The last thing you want to happen is for a girl to run out of stamina. If that happens, she'll be completely exhausted until her stamina fully recovers. I'm sure you remember the other token types, but I'll give you a quick refresher just in case. The gold bells are called joy tokens. They give you extra moves. You can't beat that. The pink hearts are called passion tokens. Matching those increases a girl's passion. The higher her passion is, the more affection she'll give from affection token matches. Broken hearts work a bit differently on double dates, but you still want to avoid them at all costs. Matching broken hearts will instantly drain a girl's stamina and put her in a bad mood. That's not even the worst part of it either. You want to know the worst part? If both girls are angry or exhausted, you're done. Yup, you failed. The date's over. So don't do that, okay? Okay. Is that everything? Can I shut up now? No, wait! Date gifts! Duh! How do I always forget about date gifts? I'm sure you didn't pack any, so... I got you covered! Switch focus back over to her, will ya? Here! She might like this one. It's from Honey Corp's newest line of date plushies. As usual, she'll need some sentiment before you're able to give her the date gift. I'll let you find a good sentiment token match. You're looking for the teal colored teardrops.
That should be enough. You can give her the plushie now. Just drag it over to her. There you go. Honeycorp has tons of new and classic date gifts for sale. So try them all. And that's it. Well, those are most of the basics of double dating anyway. I know it's a lot to take in, but don't worry. You'll get the hang of it. Now finish up this date so we can do what we came here to do. Or rather, who we came here to do. <laughs> I'll make sure you can't fail this one. Just try not to screw it up too bad, okay? Now you're getting it! up a bit of a sweat here. the broken hearts. And coffee earlier. gonna sit and catch up or are you gonna take that thing out all right now it's time for the ahem, bonus round this is the part where you fug the girls unfortunately I have to sit this one out or I'll have to go through abstinence training again but the bonus round is pretty simple just forget everything I just taught you about double dates and match tokens as fast as you can. It doesn't matter which ones, just keep matching. Try not to stop or slow down. Getting two girls to climax simultaneously requires some serious dexterity. Ugh, 